what is judged to be, you either have a good feeling or you don't have a good feeling. I don't care how much traps you've got. You know, I heard a guy say today, boy, I saw a guy with a great left hand. I said, I know a lot of guys with great left hands, way better than mine. Unfortunately, they can't play in a band. I mean, the important thing to remember is, as a great old drummer named Gus Johnson, who played with Count Basie, used to say, this is the money hand. This is the showy hand. And it made a lot of sense because what he meant was, if you have a good groove and good time, this is what makes the phone ring. It's the same thing in rock. If you go to play rock and, and you have a really good down groove, you get called for that kind of work. It's the same thing. But our biggest problem with the younger drummer is only lack of exposure. I certainly don't want to sound like we don't think they're making it. No, not at all. But since I've been to over 600 schools in my time, I think it's really 700, we'll say six and be conservative, high schools, colleges, middle schools, a very apathetic riot approach is what I often hear. I mean, there's about, you know, it sounds like somebody's trying to order a pizza at the same time that they're playing rhythm. What would you think of a bass player, either acoustic or electric, who sat up there and went, would you think he's much of a section buddy? Would you think he's much of a partner in rhythm? No. You'd say, get off your behind, man, and play. You are not playing. You're not really giving me anything. Well, that's the way the band feels when the drummer is not putting enough. Of course, I exaggerated that right beat. It was a little more apathetic than usual. But the idea is really, my idol, Big Sidney Catlett, when I was a kid, he was really good to me and let me sit in and play and told me stuff. And he said, I can swing a band with one brush and a phone book. And he could. And what he meant was he had such a good pulse. Now a good pulse makes you want to sort of tap your foot and say, that feels good. An apathetic pulse is kind of, doesn't give you anything. Technically on paper, I'm playing right beat. Ding, 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 ding. Well, nothing's happening. So like a lot of things in life, it isn't the what, it's the how. And when you have a good ride beat, you have got to put in time to get it. Now look on my page one, two, three, I think, where there's a sketch of a symbol with arrows and stuff. Now here's what we're saying to you, right? We're not saying this is the only way to play the right beat. It's a good way to play the right beat. And if you can't do this, for like seven or eight minutes, then you should go by my sketch, okay? <laughs> I mean, seriously, it's, it's, uh, it's not something I invented. I copped it from Max Roach. When I was 16 years old, I went to see Charlie Parker in New York by one coke and try to stay for four hours without getting kicked out. And here's Max Roach playing Cherokee and all of those bird dizzy tunes, mile a minute. And he looked like he was just on the beach. What I mean is he was so relaxed. So after I'd been playing drums for maybe two or three years, and I watched Max then, I noticed something I hadn't watched before. What's the direction he's playing the right beat? There's three ways to play the right beat. Straight up and down, clockwise from your point of view, where you pull the double beat, I'll do this. Or the way I'm suggesting, counterclockwise, which from your point of view would be this way, and you push the double beat. Now I'll do it real slow so you get it. The ding, the ding, the ding, the ding, the ding, the ding. The clue I give my younger students is the one single beat on two and four always goes to your brother, the hi-hat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That keeps you kind of straight in direction, okay? Now, if you take this sheet home, you can't goof. I did the old uh, Fred Astaire dance studio bit. I put the arrows the way the stick moves. That's what they used to do with, with feet. And... Uh, you might say, well, what, what's the magic to this? Why can't I play straight up and down? You can, but you'll tighten up by the time That's not going to help you as much as number two, but it's good. And finally, it's simple, it's backwards. 
but don't change the hi hat. Now, four bars of regular and four bars of backwards. Are you ready? Some guys change the hi hat and the band goes south like this. And if you do, the band will go south. So that's why I always say keep the hi hat. And the, I mean, I've heard guys do it, it's, and the band is doing one of those numbers. <laughs> so, uh, you know what? Hey, uh, why don't you write down, as long as you're good enough to write it down, uh, eight bars each, then four bars, yeah, eight X, then four X, then mix up the numbers. Don't always play them in a row.